I am back. Happy Valentine's, guys. Now, people have been requesting, Saken, do an old school domination video. So guess what? I'm going to do one for you guys. You know, I've been up on this TikTok game. I've been posting shorts on here. So follow me on TikTok. Um, Camper Nation, I think you can find me under. Anyway, we're about to get down on this map rundown. You guys want an old school video? I'm going to let you know what I'm doing on this map, what I'm thinking. And maybe I'll post more like this. Maybe I won't. I don't know. So I jumped on this morning. So why not do this video? First game to come up. So look, follow the instructions. Put a bouncing Betty there. Now watch, this is crucial. I'm going to put another bouncing Betty here. Now I'm going to use these scatter mines. Now look, these scatter mines ain't killing nobody, babe. But you're going to see why I'm putting them there. And I'll point out why I'm doing that there. Now, even in this map, this is a great way to guard B. Now, there is an entry point where they can lay me down. It's right to my right. But I'm not worried about that because they got to come down this middle. Can someone sneak through there and kill me? Yeah, maybe. The only problem is they don't do it. Once again, when I play this game, I play off what I call tendencies. I watch the way people play, what they're most likely to do, and I adapt. Now, once again, I got Bouncing Betty there. I got Bouncing Betty on the other side. And I'm guarding B like it's my baby. <laughs> now, look, that's why I set that set up there. Look, I have the Bouncing Betty, which a lot of people can run through, and then a Trip Mine. And that made him one shot, baby. For me, the um, Scatter Mines are just a warning system. Even a Bouncing Betty, a lot of people can run through them. But that's fine. You're letting me know which way you're coming from. It doesn't have to kill you. That's what my gun is for. So any anyway, once again... I'm setting up here, and I am sound touring. I am listening. Look, when they try to get the flag, no problem, amigo. And that's what they do. He's trying to shoot me through the steps. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm into my score streaks now. The only score streaks I'm running, I'm using um, this this helicopter that follows you. I got the um, veto, and I'm going to use the swarm, baby. Once again, I'm paying attention to everything. I'm using all my senses. Every Call of Duty is the same for me. I try to get in four to five positions. I try to make sure I can get angles on people. And then I go from there. Now, let's talk about the people that's going to sit there and say, oh, I can tube you out. Or me and my buddies, you would never be able to camp in that spot against me. Man, chill. Like, I've heard it all. Anyone that knows me knows I am an adaptive camper. I'm going to adapt to whatever or whoever I am playing. Are there people that can challenge me and make me move out of a spot? Yes. And guess what? I go get another one. A really good camper can adapt. You can adapt to whether it's a team you're going against, a squad you're going against, someone that's using tubes, someone that's using effective counter techniques. For me, that's the challenge. A lot of people say, why do you camp? I like the challenge. Now, I'm going to tell you, I don't reverse boost. I'm not like some of your favorite YouTubers who are out there being fake. I play whatever the game gives me. And what I do is I learn angles. I learn how to use the right equipment. Whenever I have a gun, I like to have the least amount of recoil. I don't even have the most powerful guns all the time. But for me, I notice in this game, the more accurate you are, accurate, the better you are. Some people got these guns that can move a million miles an hour. And of course, they can lay you down. But accuracy is definitely a camper's friend. I'm an older guy. I want to land as many bullets right on your head as possible. As you notice, I'm guarding these. I'm taking my time. I'm not pushing anything. Now, for these people that hate campers, look, I understand the campers we all hate. The person sitting in the room all the way in the back of the map, they get one kill. Nothing special about them. They're at the bottom of the list. They're not even getting streaks. Look at this. I got a swarm. This swarm about to go in and lay people down. That's annoying to everybody, but I don't complain. I go back and get them, baby. To be a person that's laying in a room, shooting you in the corner, you have two choices. Avoid the corner or go kill them. The problem is you get these noobs out here that got some kind of um, disability in the thought process. <laughs> a thought disability. And they want to keep going to get revenge. And they get mad when they get laid down. I feed on so many people like that. I've been doing it for a decade. Feeding on noobs who cannot help themselves and keep coming back. No problem for me. Look at this. I'm pretty much dominating this gameplay as far as the score. I'm controlling the map the way I want to control the map. I'm using all my senses. I am sound boring. I'm also looking at the angles. I learn angles. I learn spawns. And I'm going to tell you now, I've been playing mostly hardcore free-for-all. Why? Because I want to. Now, really, what it is is I find an inconsistency there, with the guns when I play court. Some days I'm milling people. Some days it seems like my bullets are going through them. Some days they're bunny hopping. And I don't find that in hardcore. Hardcore has a lot more consistency when it comes to i know i'm going to kill you as soon as i hit you and i'm going to lay you down i like the consistency of what hardcore brings i've never been 
a huge hardcore player in the past, but I've been having fun. I've been trolling that crap out of people in these free for all lobbies, and it's fun. Simple as that. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying the game, and that's something I've always advocated for. If you're going to play the game, play the game in a manner, or play a game mode, or play the game to have fun and enjoy yourself. I always hear these dumb comments like, how can people have fun doing this? Like, the comments against camping at this point is so... It's just ridiculous. I don't even know why people even say it. I get in the lobbies now, and I'm like, man, you guys have been crying for a decade or more. Just let it go. Go play Minecraft or be quiet. But I'm noticing some people just like to complain. I don't care if they're a YouTuber. I don't care if they're a tryhard. I've been in lobbies with these guys, and they just cry like babies. And it is what it is. They're going to cry like babies. I'm going to lay them down like a grown man. Now, you notice we were losing this game. They actually had both flags. I took my time. I hit the angles, I got the right gun, I'm paying attention to the game, my score streaks gave my team liquid courage. Now the thing I don't like is a lot of times when I give them liquid courage, they flip the rotation of the map. If you notice, I had these first two flags unlocked, they went ahead and got C, so that means people may spawn behind me. I like the consistency of knowing where people are going to be. That's how I'm most effective in COD. I don't play a lot of TDM because of that. TDM seems to be all over the place. I do like objective game modes which people hate why don't you just go play tdm well i prefer the objective flow i prefer the way the objective game moves i prefer the the longevity of an objective based game the games are longer and you can get a lot more streaks the problem is these guys are used to playing things like tdm and guess what they're not used to people dropping streaks on them baby but guess what you play against me i'm going to get the highest streaks now if you notice in this map i'm using like just Everything about the map. I'm in a room that's kind of hard to get to, even though, like I said, there's one other spot people can get to. I, I'm getting protected. I got these trip mines up there, which, like I say, you got to listen. The, I'm telling you, one thing I have a hard time with is when people shoot it out, when there's a lot of action going on, sometimes I can't hear everything because it may explode, but if there's explosions in the background, I don't know. I like the old Call of Duties that will let you know your equipment exploded. But every Call of Duty is different. And you know what? We get adjusted to each Call of Duty. And what I mean by that, some are faster moving, some are slower moving, some guns kill you quick, some guns take forever like Black Ops 4. Some give you good camping equipment, some doesn't give you good camping equipment. But you know what? We adjust and we play. You know, you got these fools out here that's bunny hopping left and right in this game. This this is a scuff game. You know, some Call of Duties haven't really been really scuff advantage. This is definitely one. I don't know how many people be bunny hopping around the map and avoiding your kills because they are the best bunny hopper in the game but it happens and you know what you can do you can either join them or kill them <laughs> like and so like i was saying as a youtuber you really focus on trying to have the best equipment and because you got to be competitive because unfortunately not unfortunately youtube is competitive people like to see the best and uh, the perceived best like I say, most of these guys, I don't think they're good. I've been in lobbies with a lot of people, and I'm like, oh, they they aren't that great. But once again, the reverse boost, and it's something I'm never going to do. I've never done anything for clout. I've always made videos for regular people. I'm the people champ. I'm looking for you old guys, want to get some kills, learn some angles, see some things I'm doing. That's great. Do I come up against some of these noobs that can lay me down because they're 12 years old and they can... Move at the speed of light? Yeah, sure. But it doesn't happen that often because you know what? I'm always going to be a smart player. I'm always sound horn and different things. Now, I'm going to tell you, in this game, the sound is off a little. Not off. I hate the fact that when things explode, the game doesn't necessarily tell me. Like in the old, old days, it said, oh, your C4 went off. This don't. So I have to listen. So listening, sometimes I get caught slipping on my pimple because I didn't hear it explode. And then somebody's able to come kill me. So I'm really trying to pay attention. But when a lot of explosions are happening, or you get some new, like they were doing this game, trying to be right next to me. Like I say, Call of Duty is like fishing. If you're out fishing and you catch a fish, you'll find everybody moves to your spot. It's no different here. Everybody wants to be like you or do better. And a lot of people camp in this game. A lot of people camp in all Call of Duties. So don't be surprised when you see some noob, like this guy to the right of me. How many kills I've gotten, and he's looking over the bridge, and he doesn't even get the kill. Like, is the guy blind? <laughs> you know someone's catching B. Just like I mean times, I know someone's catching A. So I sneak back around there and go lay them down. So that's just how the game plays. Anyway, I just want to know if you guys are looking at videos like this. Gotta comment.
because you know people were requesting it so you know i gotta oblige uh, look at this guy caught me slipping on my pimping and beat me down the dude didn't even shoot me that was disrespectful he hit me with like four elbows <laughs> it's okay i didn't laid him down so much he probably was at home and he probably gave his mom high five after that one he's like i finally got him mom this guy been up there because i'm not hiding i'm out here in these streets you know exactly where i'm at this is why a lot of times I don't even run a silence on my gun. You know, I'm effective with people knowing where I'm at. Come get me if you want to, turd. Look at this. I got LRP, long range pimping. I got short game, long game. I could put on a sniper. I could put on a shotgun. I don't care. I'm going to play and I'm going to be effective no matter how I play. That's my motto. Now, right now, I don't even know. This spot is hot. I don't even know if I can even get back in this spot. Look at me trying to put stuff down. And I don't know where that last guy went. The guy obviously got in here. And he's probably around. Like I say, my teammates are kind of all over the place. I'm not worried about capping the flags. We're going to win. Look at the score. The score is pretty much over at this point. And look, I got laid down again. What's that? Two deaths in this game. But that's not bad. Look at your boy dominating. You know, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and sit back. We need a couple points. The game is over. I proved my point. We won. I'm just looking for a quick tube on people. Looking for these LRP wannabes. Yeah, ooh, I shot him at the last minute. But that's what's up, you guys. Look, camper for the victory. I dropped a 40 bomb so with two deaths. Uh, that's what it's all about. All right, you guys. Let's go, babe.